My brothers and sisters in Christ, today the church celebrates the Feast of Michaelmas, as it's traditionally known, or in, in nowadays language, the Feast of the Archangels, Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel, the archangels who we hear about throughout Holy Scripture. Michael, the one who is, whose name means who is like God. We hear about him not only in the book of Revelation, in the battle in heaven, but in the Old Testament and books such as Daniel, uh, Raphael, who we hear uh, God's remedy, as his name means, and his aid to Tobit in the, the book with that name, uh, as well as, of course, the, the archangel Gabriel, who is God's strength and announces the good news of the coming of the Savior to the Virgin Mary. The archangels are a wonderful feast. It's odd. We're, we're used to most of our days being after human beings, in a sense, saints, those who have gone to heaven, those who have gone before us. And in the case of the angels, they are those who have always been uh, ahead of us in this sense. We're reminded that angels are not, uh, the word angel doesn't describe a nature, it describes a role. Angels are, are spirits, they're pure spirit, and angel, the word angel means messenger. They're the messengers of God sent to aid us. The angels have these different functions as we hear about throughout Holy Scripture, but their function is always to aid us. They serve God and they assist us in coming to heaven. We'll celebrate on Friday the wonderful memorial of guardian angels, celebrating those angels who more personally are attached to us, assisting us on the road to salvation. But it's worthwhile to simply acknowledge, to praise the role of the angels in our lives, those messengers of God, those who seek to constantly aid us on our journey, to, to be the messengers, to speak the very word of God to us, to guide us, not just in grandiose moments, but in the simple, humble moments of life. And therefore, particularly this day, uh, this day of the Feast of the Archangels, uh, is the date that in the old calendar was simply the Feast of St. Michael. It used to be that each of the archangels had their own feast day. So now they're combined on this day that's dedicated to St. Michael in particular, and it's a good reminder to us. St. Michael is the patron for, for many people that should be in our, our thoughts and prayers these days. Uh, St. Michael not only is defender for, for those in the military, but for police officers, for EMTs, for paramedics. What we would nowadays say is he, he's the patron of first responders. And in these days, with everything going on, not just COVID-19 and the pandemic, but also so many tensions and stresses about the role of law enforcement in our nation and our community. This is a wonderful opportunity for everyone of goodwill to stop and pray for our first responders, and particularly this day for our police, our peace officers. We pray for, first of all, their safety, but second of all, we pray that they may truly be agents of God's peace, that they may uphold justice and that they may be agents of goodwill. Too often we know that news is made for, for the wrong reasons, and yet we know that the majority of our officers do so much good for our community, and they need our prayers not only for what they do, but that they may be even better at what they do. And so the Archdiocese celebrates its Blue Mass every year on the, the, Sunday clo or the Saturday closest to this Feast of St. Michael. This year, it was celebrated with a little less fanfare, a little more quietly, but nonetheless, our prayers are with the men and women in blue for those who defend us. We pray that they may be purified in this role, this commitment they make to defend, to serve, and to protect others, and that they may always do so in the fullness of truth and the light of justice and defending the peace and the dignity of all peoples. St. Michael the Archangel, St. Gabriel the Archangel, St. Raphael the Archangel, pray for us.